It's June 2023 and in the USA, Nielsen have released their TV trends and it looks like fast streaming is on the increase. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So Nielsen are responsible for reporting TV viewing habits in the USA. And as I say, it does seem that viewing of fast channels are on the increase. In actual fact, it made up to 3.3% of total viewing habits in the US in May. Now, you might not think that's a lot, but that is more than Amazon, more than Disney Plus and more than HBO Max and also more than Peacock. Now, you might be thinking how are these figures made up. Bottom line is, Tubi is the top that has 1.3% of the fast channel's market share. The Roku channel accounts for 1.1% and Pluto accounts for 0.9%. In May 2023, streaming made up for 36.4% of all streaming habits. Broadcast television was down once again and only achieved 22.8%. Cable is sort of holding steady. That's around 31.1%. Streaming, as we say, accounts for 364 And other means of watching TV is down to 9.7%. Now, you might be wondering what is actually included in other than 9.7%. So basically, it includes all other TV usage that, that does not fall into the broadcast, cable or streaming categories. This primarily includes all other tuning, unmeasured sources, unmeasured video on demand, audio streaming, gaming and other device, i.e. DVD playback use. Now, one of the reasons why Other did fall quite dramatically last month was because Nielsen managed to sort of a portion out some of the other platform into the streaming category. So that accounts for a slight rise in streaming, but overall streaming was on the up anyway. So let's just go back to the streaming. So let's just go back to the streaming trend now and just have a look at the figures. Netflix actually had an increase there from 6.9% to 7.9% in May. Again, some of this may be because of the recategorization of the other category. I believe that some set top boxes that could play streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime weren't included in the actual total viewings for Netflix, etc. They were placed in the other section. So the, the results are a bit more accurate now. So Netflix was on the up at 7.9%. YouTube 8.5%. Hulu made up for 3.7%. Amazon made up 3.1%. Disney Plus made up 1.8%. HBO Max made up 1.2%. And Peacock made up 1.1% with 58 for other streaming. So you might be wondering what is included in other streaming to make up the 5.8%. Well, According to Nielsen, it says streaming platforms listed as other streaming includes any high bandwidth video streaming on television that is not individually broken out. So i.e. individual apps that are available on TVs that don't have significant viewing figures. They're all combined into other streaming. But as I say, fast channels, that is the free ad supported television channels are on the increase. And it should be noted that also users, uh, thanks Daryl for this, users of NVIDIA Shields this week saw the live TV category appear on some boxes. As I understand it, on some people's boxes, it did disappear very quickly, but there's obviously a sign there that they are planning to launch fast channels on that device as well. What has also surprised me is that we haven't seen a fall in viewing figures for Netflix, considering most people were saying that they were going to ditch Netflix in light of the clamping down on password sharing. Well, obviously, in the US, that doesn't seem to 
have happened, even though enforcing password sharing has now come into effect. Obviously, though, we should note that Netflix has brought out some quality programming this month, including Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story, A Man Called Otto, and the mother. These three re these three releases alone brought in 11.5 billion viewing minutes for Netflix. Viewers of YouTube are also steadily rising. Once again, they've got an 8.5% market share as opposed to 8.1% in April. Also, Hulu have had quite a big jump as well from 3.3% from to 3.7%. Amazon gone up from 28 to 3.1%. Disney Plus is holding in at 1.8%, no change there from last month. The same with HBO Max and Peacock. They're both holding firm at 1.2 and 1.1% of the streaming market share, which is comparable to last month. So just purely out of interest, why not put in the comments down below what streaming services you use? Now I'm talking legal streaming services, not illegal ones for obvious reasons. If you could let us know down below we can see what everybody is currently watching around the world at the moment because as I say these figures are only based on viewing habits in the USA for May 2023. I hope you like this video and if you did why not stick around right here on my YouTube channel I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and don't forget if you are after a VPN a fire stick or fire stick accessories have a look in the description down below we've got several links with some great deals for you using these links really does help support this channel. It helps me dedicate more time to the channel to create some more great videos for you.